Only on CBS 46, a brutal murder 25 years ago in Southwest Atlanta, two young women stuffed in the trunk of a rental car. They had been shot, burned, and tortured. Now, new at 11, CSI Atlanta's Karen Greer is working with top experts to get evidence retested with new technology and now searching for new clues. So everything that's physical evidence related in this case, from the vehicle to anything collected in the apartment, to their clothing and shoes, residue left on their skin, on their wrists, on their face, and on their ankles, all of that should be analyzed in the crime lab with technology that we have today. It was a hot Sunday morning, August 6th, 1995. Police were called to the scene of an abandoned car on Kimberly Road in Southwest Atlanta. While going through the brand new white Mitsubishi Mirage, they found the bodies of two young women, 20-year-old Tarshia McDowell and 22-year-old Tammy Lindley, stuffed in the trunk. The roommates were shot multiple times in the head, fingers broken, brutally beaten, burned, and murdered. Duct tape residue on their mouths, wrists, and ankles, a clue to police, this was a planned execution. Um, when we find bodies in vehicles, generally that's not where they were killed. Um, they were especially in the trunk. Obsession and Brown Sugar were their club names. The pair identified by police as exotic dancers at the very popular Club Nicky's on Stewart Avenue, which is now closed, the street renamed Metropolitan Parkway. It's a tragic story of young ladies who did some things and maybe didn't make the best decisions, and they ended in a very tragic way. Searching for answers, Atlanta police followed the young women's trail. The roommates booked a three-night stay into separate rooms at the Castle Gate Hotel on Fulton Industrial Boulevard. Investigators say they left the very first day after a phone call in a big hurry. Uneaten chips and food left behind. They never checked out. I think there is a motive involved with not only are we going to get you, we're going to make this personal to all the other people that we want to know, right, are going to be aware that we're out here and we're watching and you did me wrong. At the women's shared Washington Walk apartment off Spanish Trail in East Point, police observed signs of a struggle, clothes and items tossed about. Investigators tell us someone tried to clean up before leaving. They were able to collect beer bottles and fast food containers, all evidence to lift fingerprints. There is technology and there are places in this country that can build upon that, that DNA and blow it into an entire profile. They learned Tammy borrowed that car from a friend who rented it two days prior. He was questioned by police and released. They also found prints outside the car. Both doors found wide open, leading them to believe there's more than one suspect and they took off running from the scene. What I'd like for you all to do is get the word out. Show the crime scene photos. Let's speak their names. Let's talk about Club Nikki's because someone does know something. It's been 25 years since the bodies of Tarsha and Tammy were found right here on Kimberly Road in the trunk of a rented car. CSI Atlanta is asking Atlanta police to resubmit fingerprint samples that they obtained from the crime scene. We're also asking anyone who may know anything about this case to please come forward.